What's up gamers, how the heck are you? My name is Epic Pins. welcome to the video. And in today's video, we're talking about this broken, broken build. Now this build's been in the game for a while, but it just got a huge buff. And now I feel like it is a it is the main broken build in Grounded, hands down bar none. One thing I should mention is that with the recent changes that Grounded has, with the, including health, it also got a change to its leveling in terms of what uh what difficulty you chose so if you are in the medium difficulty everything did get a like 10 percent decrease in damaging and stuff like that so it is a little bit easier than it was before so this may this may work just as well because in in woe mode but everything you're going to see in this video is played in medium it's not in woe so Keep that in mind that when you try to use this build, though it should work relatively the same. All right, now on to why this build is so broken and what happened to make it this way. So when the Make It or Break It update came out, it just went live, they claimed that they revamped healing in the game, and they did. You'll probably notice that when you take a healing item now in Grounded, there's a four second cooldown that is buffered between you spamming healing items. It's basically to help the game be more balanced in bigger boss fights and stuff like that so you're not constantly spamming heals in order to just out heal whatever attacks happening well they also buffed healing so that you get more healing from bandages and things like that and across the board all healing items got a buff as well that includes the ladybug armor and if you didn't know ladybug armor when you take it the sleek route not not the bulky route the sleek route which you should be taking most of your armors the sleek route but if you take Ladybug Armor the Sleek Route, you get healing increase. It increases healing by 12% on each piece of armor you're wearing. Now that 12% increase is applied to all healing done to the player, and that includes lifesteal. That is a part of healing. So now you have a 12% increase of all lifesteal that's happening to you. So that is where we're gonna be coming into this broken stage of, <laughs> of this build. So what you need to do is, these are the pieces you need. You're gonna need the Ladybug full set, in my opinion. You don't have to have the full set because you do get healing increase for each piece, so you could mix and match if you want to. But if you get the full set, you will also get Scarlet's Embrace. Scarlet's Embrace occasionally heals after blocking attacks. So while you're blocking, you can get an occasional heal, which will be another big boost of heal as you're as you're fighting any kind of boss or anything like that i just think scarlet embrace is really good for this kind of set just because you're getting constant heals all the time now as for your trinket i recommend you putting on thor's pendant thor's pendant is pretty pretty op especially early game if you can get your hands on it it is up in the later game area but you can honestly run up there and just grab it if you avoid a lot of the creatures there you can just get it real quick and then leave that area now the reason Thor's Pendant is actually pretty good in this is because if you're wearing Thor's Pendant, you get a, an, a healing over time. Every 10 seconds you get a, a single tick of healing. That will be increased by the effects of Ladybug Armor and increased by the effects of the, the overall healing that they've just doubled. Whatever shield you want to use, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use this shield. You can use a Weevil shield if you want to. I just like this shield because of block corrosion, but you don't have to use this shield. Um, any other shield you want to use is fine. I chose the Tick Sword. It does the a, a large amount of damage. Life Steal is all based off how much damage you're doing. The more damage you can do, the more Life Steal you'll you'll have. So I wanted the most damage I can get out of all Life Steal weapons, and this is the pretty much the best one. But you could use the Tiger Rapier, or you could use the um, the the Mosquito Needle. Any one of those would be fine. Mosquito Needle probably be early on for you guys uh, if you're doing this early game because you can get Ladybug Armor from Ladybugs really early in the game. And once you have Berry Leather and Ladybug Armor, bam, you're good to go. And just start collecting some of the uh, the, uh, the brittle waystone on the ground. And once you have that, you can start leveling this up and eventually get it to level six and you have Sleek. This build won't really work until you can get your armor at least to level six and have it go Sleek so that you can get the healing increase. And mutations do not matter in this whatsoever for the most part. The only ones that I would recommend you run, if you're running the Tick Sword, have the sword so you can get the exhaustion timer reduced if you can get it to masters like that. That really helps with your effectiveness of the sword. I would also recommend you doing Corporate Kickback if you can get your hands on this one. You get this one, I believe, from defeating the Assistant Manager. But once you get Corporate Kickback, anytime you block... So the, it usually works well... 
when you're blocking a, if you can get a number of perfect blocks in a row, let's say like three of them, and then you begin tacking, each attack will then start stealing health for you, and it is a massive health steal. Corporate Kickback has saved me so many times in large fights, especially fighting things like the Infected Broodmother or you know, the Mantis or anything like that, that, that affects you so heavily on bleed and with health and everything like that. Corporate Kickback has saved me so many times. Now, that's the only one I fully recommend. Me, I've always run, you know, Trapper Peeper, but not everybody has this one. Um, I've also run, you know, Coup de Grass just for the extra. Um, I love crit. So I think crits really well. I just think I love the extra damage that it does. The more damage you do, the more heals you get. So keep that in mind. Um, I also decided to put on Sour Sensation for a lot of these fights just because I wanted to see if the damage reflex would help. I don't know that it fully did, but I, I mean, I was getting plenty of good heals, so maybe it did something. But all of that's pretty much interchangeable. I just recommend having on Corporate Kickback, and then you guys can put on whatever you want. You know, if you're fighting Wolf Spiders or something like that, maybe you want to do um, the, the Poison Resistance, and that'll, that'll be big help for that. You know, if you want help perfect blocking or something like that, you know, you guys, it's, it's pick and choose, do whatever you want. But I do recommend Corporate Kickback. All right, guys, I hope you are enjoying the video. It has been a blast, let me tell you. Um, use it, abuse it. That's why I show you guys these videos. I want you to see exactly what you can do, exactly what it takes to take out the big bosses or take out the big creatures. This is the kind of things you can utilize until, you know, they step in and do something about it. Well, until that day comes, gear yourself up love it use it let it heal you i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button subscribe um hey subscribe come on man this is where the golden opportunity is for you to learn how to cheese everything in this game because that's what i love to do it's one of my favorite things to do and right now this is an absolute cheese like i said they will probably patch this they'll probably fix it at some point i feel like this is broken you can tell me if i'm wrong and maybe you're just like no that's how the system is supposed to work well guess what the system's broken a little bit, but hey, look, good luck out there, guys. It's like, subscribe, drop a comment below, drop your favorite build below, something that you think is broken, something that you think is way too good. Drop that below in the comments, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.